Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanted to show you an app called a Color Story. And Color Story is a photo editing app, a photo and video editing app. And it's a lot like what you're used to on Instagram or Snapchat, basically applying filters, but it has a lot more variety than that. And it gives you a lot of control over the editing of your video or your photos. I wanted to show you how to use it in this video, show you some of my favorite things about the app. And at the end of the video, as always, I will give you my review out of five on the app. So stay tuned till the end to see that. So let's go ahead and jump into the app store and look for a color story. This is the icon. I've already downloaded it. So I'm going to go ahead and open the app here. And the first page of the app basically looks like this. What you could do here is you could choose a camera, give it access to your camera. So you could take a picture, for example, let me show you that. I'll press camera. I already gave it access. So I'm going to take a picture on my set here, press capture, and it will record that video or that photo, depending on how you do that. So now that has recorded the picture that I just uh, captured. So it's captured that image. So I could press continue or crop. And then it takes you to the filter tab. So here under the filter tab, it says use the filters with one tap editing. So I'm going to press next and you have effects tools. So it's basically giving a walkthrough of the app here. So let me go to filter here. And as you can see on the bottom, you have all your filters to choose from. So here's the essential filters, for example, and some of the filters are paid and some are free. So you have to go through and see which one you like. And if you like a filter here, you can press the heart icon and it saves it to your favorite item. So you could apply that filter all the time. Now you don't have to come searching for it. And that slider is basically from zero to a hundred, the intensity of that filter. So you could just choose that. And when you're done, press the check mark. That's how you apply a filter. And then if you go to favorites, you could see that I've added that sharp as a favorite. And again, there's a bunch of different options here like blush, that's a paid pack. So you can buy those packs. It's about $2 per pack, depending on what pack you get here. I'm going to exit out of the shop there. And let me go back here and show you some of these other ones. I'll just scrub through. So here's like a chroma one, again, a paid pack. This one's $4. So there's a different price range depending on the pack. So let me just go ahead and uh, close out of here. Let me see what the free ones have to do. So the ones that say free right here, Island is free. So I could say, get the pack. And you could actually get these one that seem like they're paid for free. Let me go ahead and download that one. And now I could actually use that pack after downloading and installing it here. So if I press Island, I've downloaded it. And here's a bunch of different options in that if I wanted to add that. Let me press X. So I'll just press X on top to start over. So the next thing is I could just jump into album. So that was the camera. Then there's a grid option also that will connect to your Instagram. I'm not going to go over that in this video It's a new option. But here, if I press album, here's a stock photo I have, for example, that I'm using for a different video. And here I have the crop option. So same stuff that I just showed you, but you have the crop option. So let's do a crop. Let me just rotate it back to how it was. And I'll just do this kind of crop, press continue. So now that I'm on this page, what can I do? Well, I could again use filters, effects, tools. So let's go through each one. Filters, we just talked about. So I just got the essentials, for example. I could see what that looks like. I could change the intensity and then press check mark. There's that. I just press the home icon to come back to this page. So filters has a bunch to do. You could explore it. You have effects. So there's a bunch of different effects that you could put like light leak, for example, or bouquet or color fog. There's a bunch of them here. Let me just reduce that. That's actually cool. Press check mark again. Let me go and press the home icon, go back to this. And then you have tools. Let me see what that has. So you could adjust the exposure, the clarity, the contrast, the brightness here. That's typical of a photo editing app. You could again crop here. You have a bunch of cropping options and you have your color wheel, hue, saturation, luminance. These are really basic things that every photo editing ha app has. And if you're used to things like Photoshop, or a lot of the apps that come with your phone, you may have it. Instagram is not obviously this advanced. That's why apps like this do exist. I'm going to press X and let me press home one more time. And then obviously you have your shop icon. So you could use this to buy lots of different filters and effects and so on. That's how this app makes money and it's able to be free. So that's basically all there is to the app on a quick overview. Let me just press X and go back here. So if you want to explore album, camera and, and, and grid, you could explore those individually. And if you like this app, I'll make a follow up video diving more deeper into grid, for example. So my review of the app, it has to be three out of five, honestly, because I don't really see the reason why I would buy a bunch of different filters here. And the free filters that I saw at first glance, they were very minimal. These are the things that 
I could get on Instagram. So I give it three out of five just because it's really well built. There's a lot of different advanced functions in the editing and in the tools and in the filters. And the camera icon was a really good way to take and capture pictures with a lot of more control than Instagram gives you. But for posting onto Instagram or Facebook or things like that, I don't see a reason to pay for a bunch of different filters. So three five out of five is my rating of the app. I hope you found this useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I post these videos three times a week so you never miss the next great app and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.